guys, what is up, it is Rosa, and welcome to today's video. As you can see, we are going to be summing up week number four from October and then doing our results and closing October out. I am so freaking excited about this. Like you have no idea. I'm just ready for October to be done. You guys know we spent so, so much money. And I'm also gonna have a story for you guys for this week, so definitely make sure to watch. Before we get started, I do wanna let you guys know that I use an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. It is the 8.5 by 11. The stickers are by Stick a uh, Stickadelic. If you guys wanna see how I set up my month for October, I will leave the link down below as well as in the cards up above. So you guys can check out how I actually set all of this up. And then the stickers for my weekly check-in are by my friend Romina. She has been making stickers for a little while now and I love buying her functional sticker kits. And then for Stickadelic, I love buying her artsy kits because I think they're just so beautiful to look at. I love both of the sticker kits very much. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. If you guys like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch fan band. We have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go ahead and get started with the video, girl. Also, yeah, my nails are like really, really bad right now. I was going to put gel on today, but I forgot. I've just been biting them a lot. It's been, it's been a hard life. So there's going to be one thing that's not going to be on here, and that is I think Richard might have bought lunch today. So I just, he's not home yet, so I don't know. So on the 25th, it was actually my grandma's birthday, but it was a no spend day. So actually I have this kit by Happy Planner that I'm gonna start using. I really love it. And it's just like a really cool budget kit. It's called the budget kit. And I just really wanted to start using these stickers because if there's no spend stickers, I'd be happy, but I don't know if there are any no spend stickers. So this is a no spend day, which is really great. So we didn't spend any money there. I do want to get like a whole book of just no spend stickers. That would be cool. I guess maybe I'll just be like putting all these stickers down for when I don't spend. So that was a no spend day. Now we're going to go to the 26th, which was the saddest day of my life. Well, it was actually really cool because first we went to a really awesome party and then I came home to a blackout. So on the 26th, I spent $50 on a gift for my uncle. I gave him $50 via Venmo, just because with sometimes I can give a Venmo gift. Sometimes it's just a little bit easier. So gift was $50. And then I spent, um, Richard ended up buying Chipotle that day for lunch. So we're gonna go ahead and put down the sticker and this is chipotle he usually buys chipotle um it's just easy it's right next to his work now we literally have no groceries because we haven't gone grocery shopping because i'm going to talk to you about it in a second which is right now so then we spent 64 dollars and 55 cents at bj's restaurant it's just a brewery restaurant and the reason we did that is because we went through a two-day blackout of our house. So we had no power at our house for two days. I know two days sounds like a really little and it's totally a first world problem, but yo girl ain't used to it. So we went to BJ's just to spend some couple hours there. We bought some food and we spent some money and we did actually use our emergency fund to pay this just because it was an emergency. I mean, we didn't have to spend that much money, I guess, but Eating out was an emergency. We wouldn't have eaten out if it wasn't for the blackout. So I am going to go ahead and write it down. But um, we did pay that off with our emergency fund. On the 27th, again, we spent money because we were still going through the blackout. So um, I ended up getting some lunch with Richard. Oh, no, you know what? We also went to Carl's Jr. How much did we spend at Carl's Jr.? I think we spent like $27. I have to write that down. I completely forgot. Oh my God, I almost wrote on my freaking cell phone. Um, it was like 20, maybe it was like $23, maybe. It wasn't $27 for sure. So on October 27th, again, we were going through our first full day of a blackout. So we ended up going to have a breakfast at Carl's Jr. Very not healthy. Oh, what am I doing? Definitely a not healthy breakfast, but every other breakfast place in our town was completely packed and had like a 30 to an hour minute, uh, hour wait. So we were like, screw it, we're just gonna go to Carl's and we ended up getting food there. So we spent, I spent $23 and when I say I spent, if you guys don't know how Richard and I do our money, he actually gives me his paycheck and I just pay for everything. It's just easier that way and we also get points faster that way. So that's what I do. 
Next, um, we spent $25.65 on, um, I think it's called Ono's Hawaiian, and that was for his dinner. So Ono's, and that one was $25.65. And that actually ended up being his lunch for the next day because I couldn't finish the whole freaking thing. So he ended up taking it with him to lunch. And then this was a necessity. I, as you can see, I did get some sticker books and I bought myself a couple of life sticker books as well as a sticker book for my packages for resale. But I bought these two because these are accessible. So I'll show you. I bought this Glamour Girl or Healthy Hero, sorry, and Glamour Girl sticker kits from Happy Planner because Michael's is across the street from Richard's work. I had nothing to do. So I spent a couple of hours after we had his lunch. I went to Michael's and I purchased some of those sticker kits. Now, they were supposed to be on sale, but they weren't, so I did pay full price for them, which was like the stupidest thing, but you know what? I was really sad and I needed to shop. So I ended up spending um, at Michael's $87.50. And that's a lot for stickers, but honestly, the stickers are, one of them is at least an investment in my business, and then the other, one of them is for my budgeting and two of them are for my life planner. So I'm really not worried about it. All right, so on the 28th, it was another no spend. So I'll go ahead and put a sticker here for the 28th that says we did it. No spend, okay. On the 29th, we did spend a little bit of money. We spent $20 at groceries, which we just ended up buying some eggs for our house because we actually haven't gone grocery shopping because there was a rumor that there was going to be another two-day blackout and we didn't want to go grocery shopping and buy all this food for another blackout and for it to all go bad because we actually don't buy too much perishables or unperishables I guess you would say so he ended up just buying eggs and sausages for today or sorry for the night for the next couple of days um, I also spent some money for work but I'm not gonna put it here just because they're gonna reimburse me so on the 30th, Richard, oh no, Richard, wait, what's the 20, $20 then? We spent $20 on some sort of grocery. So for the 30th, Richard went to Lenardi's, which is like a store near our house to buy sausage and eggs. So, and then I did spend some money on eBay. I did have to pay my eBay bill, but that's a business venture. So I'm just going to write for today that there was a no spend for now, but I think... Richard may have bought lunch today. We might spend some money on dinner, but for now it's a Thursday. So this is what Halloween looks like for us. I'm sorry if it got a little bit dark. All right, so that is everything for October, you guys. We are finished spending money in the month of October and I'm super stoked about it. Let's go ahead and calculate our spending. So, as you guys can see, this is our little spending. We had negative $278.58 we could spend this month. So obviously we're gonna go back into the negatives. All right, so for grocery, we ended up spending $28 for grocery, so that's not bad. We spent zero on gas. I know it's kind of far, but I'll show you guys closer once we get into calculating this. Eating out was our big guy, but honestly, like I said, we used our emergency fund for eating out. So because it was an emergency, we literally had no power. So that's why it's really great to have an emergency fund for shit like that, for disasters. So Richard ended up going, getting Chipotle plus 64.55 for BJ's. And then we had Carl's Jr. that was 23 plus Ono's, which was $25.65. And then that was everything for eating out. So we spent $127.20. But again, that was all covered by our emergency fund. Entertainment was literally nothing. Yeah, no entertainment. We were not entertained this week. And then unbudgeted was Michael's. Oh, and then the gift that I, I gave. So Michael's clear was 87.50 and then the gift I gave was $50 so 137.50 137.50 and you guys are wondering Rosa well why didn't you take this out of your sinking fund for gifts well it's not it wasn't that big of a situation where I had to take it out like I just my choice was to just use whatever we have so we spent a total of 28 plus 
127 20 plus 137 equals we spent two hundred and ninety two dollars and twenty cents so negative two seventy eight point fifty eight minus two ninety two point twenty oops not minus sorry plus and it's actually negative what the heck negative <laughs> 278.58 minus 292.20. So out of our budget, we the ending the month with $570.78 negative. So that's not very good. But again, we had some emergency stuff that happened this week and that probably brought us up. But to be honest, we probably would have spent money on groceries or something if that didn't come up. So we still would have been probably around negative 500. But that is our weekly check-in. That is it. So our total budget left over was negative $570.78. So... That is definitely not good, but we are going to start again in November because October was shit and we were still getting, I'm, I can't say we were still getting used to stuff, but we technically were. This was our first time really taking budgets and making something. So I'm still going to keep the budget at $700 for November, but if it becomes a pattern, we're going to have to figure something out um, if I need to up it a little bit. But that is everything. So now let's go into our October budget. We have basically paid off all of this stuff. And then for our school, we're gonna do the totals for our school. Um, sorry, for just our payments in general. So we did pay off um, our debt avalanche. My, I'm um, sorry, Ugh. So, plus 174.18 for school, plus 54 for credit card, plus an additional 325.82. So for our sinking pun puns, it's so funny. For our sinking funds, you guys can't even see, there you go. For our sinking funds, our total of paying off was 800, I'm oh, not sinking funds, I'm sorry. For our debt avalanche, our total paying it off was 800 and two dollars and eight cents and that is so good you guys that we were able to pay off eight hundred and two dollars and eight cents for the sinking funds i am super super stoked about it and i think that's really awesome let's see next is our sinking funds so we were not able to pay off a ton of our sinking funds or put money towards the sinking funds but i'll put in our total so our total sinking funds we have is 348.84 plus 10 plus 50 plus one, oops, plus 160 plus 307 equals, we have $875 in our sinking funds, which is great. And if you guys are wondering, well, what are your emergency funds? Our emergency funds are actually at, on Richard's account. He keeps all of our savings and we do not touch that because we do need it for blackouts and things like that. So yeah, but I think that is the total for October. So we ended up being able to put away some money for our sinking funds. That's our total for sinking funds. We didn't take out anything for our transaction log. We finished out budgeting the whole month of October, which is right there. And we finished the month off with negative $570.78. So the next video you guys are going to see is our is my November setup, which I'm so excited about. We have a lot of videos per for budgeting coming out. The one right after this will be our November setup video. And then right after that will be the November monthly view and weekly setup video and then after that i will be uploading basically i'm gonna have like five videos in a row uploaded um three of them will be budget videos and two of them will be resale videos so definitely look out for next week next week is going to be killer in the freaking game i am so excited to be setting up november and getting november started october was definitely not my favorite month which is weird because it's 
my husband's birthday and my birthday and Halloween. But when it came to spending, we were not very good this month. But it's okay because November, we start again. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had a very good budget for October. If not, if you were like me with our budget, and when complete shit, it's okay. November starts. When you're watching this, I don't know actually when you're gonna be watching this. I'm hoping you're gonna be watching this on Friday, November 1st. If not, it's okay. November starts now. So get your pocketbooks out, get your books together, get your personal finance together, and let's start November on a really good note. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Join the Bright Patch fan. Remember, we have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 I'm, and I will see you guys all in the next video. BB. Yo, what's up? I'm the Mad Hatter. I'll pour you tea. Please don't let it spread. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the Mad Hatter. <laughs>